Um, what time is it just now? Well, We are interrupting our normal programmes to bring you an important announcement. You're watching BBC News from London. A short while ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. In a statement, the palace said, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme reporting the death of the Duke of Edinburgh. You're watching BBC News. A short while ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. In a statement, the palace said, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme. But after months of travel restrictions, the easing looks likely to take time. Caroline Davis, BBC News. You're watching BBC News. We have just received a statement from Buckingham Palace confirming that the Duke of Edinburgh has died. The statement says, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. We have just received this information from Buckingham Palace. Let me repeat this news. It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. just saw that clip there she said I must make it clear nothing's going to happen between us so now what well I mean Tyron's stuck between a rock and a hard place really isn't he? I mean he's made his decision that he now loves Alina but uh you know things Alan, are obviously Alan, Alan, Alan sorry I I have to interrupt you for some very very important news because we now viewers have to end this morning and go straight to the ITV newsroom for more Good afternoon. We are breaking into programmes to bring you an announcement from the Royal Household. In the last few moments, we have received the following significant statement. It reads, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The Royal Family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. Let us take a moment to reflect on that news.
Well, let me just repeat that statement, which we have received in the past few minutes. It reads, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. We are staying on air to bring you reaction to that news. The of course I do, I speak it, don't I? President, sponsors come dine with me. This is Channel 4. We interrupt our programmes to join Channel 4 News. Good afternoon. We are interrupting normal programmes to bring you some news from the Royal Household. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, who has passed away at the age of 99. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, his Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The Royal Family joined with people around the world in mourning his loss. Through Throughout their 73 years of marriage, the Duke of Edinburgh was the Queen's constant companion, saying his central role was to support the Queen. It was a mutual reliance Elizabeth described the Duke as her strength and stay. The Duke joined the British Royal Navy in 1939. He served in the Mediterranean and Pacific fleets in the Second World War. He was the longest serving consort of a reigning British monarch and the oldest ever male member of the British Royal family. After a decade, a decades of public service and 22,219 solo engagements, the Duke formally retired in August 2017 at the age of 96. His final engagement was at a parade of Royal Marines at Buckingham Palace. ...to the advertised programme. This is Channel 5. In light of recent events, we've a change to the advertised programme. He was the man who for seven decades walked with the Queen, accompanying, supporting and loving the most famous woman in the world. And he was just perfect for the country at the time. Some important news just in for you, and Buckingham Palace has just announced that the Duke of Edinburgh has died. He was 99 years old. We don't know any more detail on that for you yet. We will bring that to you as soon as we know it, but we can bring in our royal correspondent for you, Rhiannon Mills. Rhiannon. This will come as deeply upsetting news for the royal family, the royal household, and most significantly, Her Majesty the Queen. In a statement that has just been released by the palace, they say it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. It goes on to say that His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. For almost eight decades, the Duke of Edinburgh was a constant figure by the Queen's side and an integral and much-loved member of the royal family and a truly unforgettable character. It was, of course, his marriage that really placed him at the centre of national life at a time really when it was men who were head of the household. It was men who held those positions of power, and yet he found himself always in that supporting role, as supporting his wife, a role that he loyally fulfilled for his entire life. This is CNN Breaking News. 
Breaking news into CNN this hour. Britain's Prince Philip has died. <clears throat> Buckingham Palace released a statement saying the Queen's husband passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. He was 99 years old. The Duke of Edinburgh spent several weeks in hospital earlier this year and was discharged last month. He was married to Queen Elizabeth for 73 years and is the longest serving consort of a reigning British monarch. There you see the live pictures of London where flags are flying. Stay on the ball. Sky Mobile sponsors Sky Sports News. Buckingham Palace has announced that His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, has passed away. We can cross to Sky News now. And also the Worldwide Fund for Nature, that his lifetime's interest in and support of was so key and sort of speak of his ease. And of course...